Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Control Nexus. Today we're going to be developing a small web application that uses an AJAX enable web form to send mail from your website. Uh, we're going to be using uh, JSP, Java Server Pages, and we're also going to be using Java Mail for this tutorial. There are several things that you're going to need before we begin the tutorial and the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a program like WinZip so that you can extract the zip file that contains all the resources of the tutorial that we're going over. Second thing you're going to need is a website and you're going to need for that website to have JSP and Servlet enabled on it. You're going to need a uh, Servlet container such as Tomcat, uh, Geronimo, JBoss, any of those would work. Uh, you're also going to need an FTP client, and there are several FTP clients that you can download from the internet, uh, such as FTP Commander, FileZilla, Core FTP, uh, any of those would be good. The first thing you need to do is download the uh, zip file containing all the resources to the tutorial. And you can find that on the link located on your screen, or you can also find it on the description on the right-hand side, and you can click on that link. Second, I'm going to need for you to extract the zip file onto your hard drive. Third, I need for you to find the send.jsp file located in the root directory and I need for you to modify that file and you can modify it if you have Dreamweaver you can modify with Dreamweaver if not you can open it uh, with other programs such as Notepad or WordPad there are three variables that you need to modify inside this file the first one is the current to address which is the email address that's going to be receiving the email when uh, users send emails through the forms on the web. The second variable is the SMTP server. Now, you may not have this information, and this is something that you'll have to contact your provider for. You'll also need the uh, user ID and password. And once you've modified these variables, go ahead and save the file and close it. After you've done that, you need to upload all the resources up to your server, and uh, you're going to have to upload uh, the javamail.jsp, verify.jsp, send.jsp, the images folder, the spry assets folder, and the web inf folder. Once you've uploaded all the files onto your server, you're probably going to need to restart your uh, servlet container. And if you don't have access to that, you're going to have to contact your provider. Okay, once you've done that, finally what you need to do is you need to invoke the javamail.jsp file. Okay, so once I invoke the uh, javamail.jsp file, I'm going to get the following AJAX enable form and this form has validation so if you just click on the send email button without entering any values you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, error messages so you may need to modify this file also for now I'm going to go ahead and type in values Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Send Email button. Okay, and this concludes another tutorial from Control Nexus. Thank you and good luck.